What is up players, it's Warboss Tay up in his mug. Welcome to a review of the Forge World Contemptor Pattern Assault Cannon. Woo, what a mouthful. So you get all of these pieces in the kit and it's uh, fitted to go with your Contemptor Dreadnoughts. And it's one of the arms for your Contemptor Dreadnoughts. And uh, you can basically fit them to either the left or the right arm. And uh, these are the pieces. First you get this. I, I call it like the main housing piece. It has the uh, the ammo holder and uh, the main body. And I've seen people substitute the tubes, the little uh, tubes that slot into there with brass rod. And uh, I'm actually going to go with these instead because uh, unlike other fine cast models, they're very straight and they they look good. So you've got the part that's going to, on the left, the part that's going to go underneath the assault cannon, and then you've got the three pairs of two tubes each that have a little bit of joiner at the bottom. I'm glad they didn't have them as individual tubes. That makes it a lot easier. That's the part that slots into the arm, or into the shoulder, rather, and the part that uh, is kind of able to be rotated in, in the middle. It's a kind of... Um, pose the direction of the weapon and then at the end you've got the little piece that ho hooks onto the end and uh, that's what those all look like. So uh, I'm going to assemble these with super glue and I'm going to be using my super glue activator from Army Painter because it is one of the best products that I've ever used and the first thing I actually did was I put them into a little container and I wash them with warm soapy water and that really helps to get all of the mold agent off. I'm not sure if you've seen my um, preparing Forge World resin video but it's it's really important to get that mold release agent off and uh, after I did that with warm soapy water I let them dry I applied it with super glue and then a uh, super glue activator so and I'm showing you the finished piece. That part is going to slot into the shoulder of the dreadnought. I'm actually going to drill out the middle of that and pop a magnet into there. And then uh, I'm going to magnetize it by putting a small uh, nail into the actual weapon arm. And that's going to assemble like so onto my dreadnought. And it's going to allow for me to magnetize. By doing that, you can really... Uh, customize your dreadnought and increase the, I guess, the, the durability, the usability, and uh, stretch your dollar by not having to buy a whole bunch of contempted dreadnoughts and um, you know, just to do the different weapon out outfits. What am I trying to figure out? Figure out how to say. So this is what it looks like when it's all hey, magnetized up. It, it looks is going to be really, really easy to transport. You just pop off that weapon arm. You can angle it however you want. Uh, a little tricky thing is making sure you get the angle of the magnet and the uh, metal piece mm -hmm. right. So as you can see, the magnet that I've chosen slots right into the, the shoulder piece there. And then I just drilled a hole into the weapon arm and then I've put the, the end of a small nail in. You can also put a tiny screw and uh, that is uh, really helpful. By doing that, you don't have to worry about the magnets being so strong that they rip each other out of the socket. And there you go. I, I think it's a great piece to have and I'm uh, really happy that I got to use it to practice my magnetization skills with the Contemptor. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.